What's going on, y'all? Today is Wednesday, April the 12th. Me and Pops are back down here in the shop. As y'all can tell, it is dark outside. It's about 8 p.m. right now, so. But we know we haven't posted a video in a while, in a few days, and uh, we've had a lot going on. So we're gonna kind of turn the phone around here and show y'all what's going on and uh, what has happened. And then we'll show y'all not everything we've got planned yet because we still need to accumulate a couple of things, but we'll kind of we'll kind of hint around. So y'all hang out with right. us. So what's the issue with the shop right now? Well, it's kind of in mid process, maybe a little empty. A little empty, huh? A little empty. How empty are we talking? Well, Empty enough that we don't have a car. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, Pops is correct. We don't have a car. Uh, chain of events will explain, but we don't have a chassis. I know y'all see the rear end sitting there. That also doesn't belong to us. So uh, We kept our wheels and tires. And some things have changed. Some things have happened over the past few days. And we don't have our chassis. So just to explain a little bit, uh, we had a friend of ours that called us. He wanted us to come look at his car to fix. We looked at the chassis. It is pr pretty much needs to be stripped and scrapped, to be honest with you. It, uh, he got in a wreck and... Um, Another car hit him from the right rear and went all the way down the right side. It was just one of those racing deals. And uh, it pretty much cracked every single weld on the chassis on the right side. And it bent the pull bar brackets. It bent J-bar. It bent J-bar brackets. And it's an older car. It was a GRT copy car. And it's pretty much trash. So to help him out, and to help us out, and I'll explain helping us here in a minute, but to help him out, he came over Sunday, this past Sunday, he looked at our chassis, and his car's a metric car, so he couldn't use anything off the front, but our car was Chevelle, and y'all know we put all the new front suspension on, so he bought our chassis with all the front suspension minus the rear end. And he's in the process now of swapping everything from his car, his quick change, and everything and putting it on the new car or his new car which was our chassis so the quick change we kept and just so happened a friend of ours tanner gatlin and matt gatlin y'all remember the 74 car that was in here the shawl by taylor uh that we done the pull bar brackets in uh matt reached out to me they wanted to go to a quick change that car had a nine inch in it and for future we needed a nine inch so we worked out a deal they're gonna bring us the car we're gonna swap the rear end for him and uh we'll keep the nine inch they'll have the quick change and we'll have the nine inch for our project we will keep our hubs. yeah well we, we will keep our hubs we're gonna put their hubs on the quick change and everything so yeah. um y'all remember the quick change has everything in it new i mean i say everything all the seals are new we inspected everything everything looked good new j bar mount new pull bar mount so all that's going in the shawl by taylor and that'll help them out because they've been traveling a lot going to different tracks so that'll help them with gearing and you decide to show up don't come in here eating bugs again anyway so to update what we are doing, there is a full rack of steel right there that we put up there today. Um, if you see these laying in the floor, these are aluminum beams that we had laying around. They're thick. They're, I mean, they're 3 sixteenths thick. We use these, obviously, to build stuff on. So, as y'all can tell, with these in the floor and a full rack of steel... We're going to be building a chassis. Jump. A little too high. <laughs> so what do you think about that? Well, I think we're going to uh, move on up to a, 
uh, a little bit different building situation, but I, I think we're going to be all right. All right. This is, I, I blame a lot something of, we never tried yeah, something we haven't tried yet. I blame a lot of it on me too, because I've always wanted to build one of these cars and we're not going to tell y'all what it is yet because we got to get something else picked up this weekend. So we'll wait till we get that and show y'all what we're going to build. A bunch of y'all are probably going to guess it. So, um, we are going to build a car and we made this decision based on the fact that we want to create content for you guys, for y'all to watch. And the main thing is we want to test ourselves. We want to see what we can do. And uh, we've built cars in the past. We built a street stock years ago. That was a completely new car from the frame up. We used an all-star roll cage kit. We used all-star front hoops and then we tied it all together with straight tubing because we didn't have a bender at the time so we don't have a fancy bender y'all seen us use the affordable it's not a fancy bender it does a really good job for what it is so we want to test ourselves and we want to see what we can do building a brand new car and that's what we're going to do so what me and pops were doing tonight we were playing with our bender. We were making our cheater pieces, like a lot of people do. Uh, this is a 90, that's a 60, 45, 30. We were just making our cheater pieces. And of course I marked them all, seeing how much material it took to make the bands. As y'all can see, I got them all marked. Pops and I were working on that just to see what we wanted to do to do some figuring on how we want to do the rear hoop of the main cage and our down bars our a pillar bars per se yep. and um we get all that like figured walking out. around talking and y'all are seeing my hand and that's it so hmm. um we were just figuring out our bins and getting everything situated um i, I want to point out something i know a lot of y'all probably gonna eat me up on this but in a previous video I said that we didn't want to make this a business. You know, we just help guys out. We've had a lot of support. Let me say that first. We've had a lot of support. People that have reached out to us and said, man, I'd like to see you step your game up. I'd like to see you do more. We'd like to see y'all get more into fab stuff. And we're confident we can do it. We're confident we can learn it. And uh, we're not... Like we said before, we're nowhere near professional. Um, that's the first tubing bender we've ever owned. Yeah. And I mean, we've only had it, what, a couple years? Yeah. And so, and all we've used it for is repair stuff. And a lot of that repair stuff y'all see us do, we ain't got a clue what we're doing. We're just winging it and we eyeball a lot of stuff we do. We're not joking. Um, we eyeball it and if it looks good, we send it. So, um, we're going to build a car. We're going to build a lot of stuff coming up, I promise. And we're going to have a ton of content when we go to build this car. Y'all going to watch us build this whole entire car, and I mean everything. The the mishaps, the the mistakes, whatever it is, y'all going to see it. So we're going to show it. We know we we know everyone wants to see content, so we're going to make out some content. But We'll show y'all this weekend what it is we're going to build. Like I said, we got to get something, but we will have a video. Uh, we'll bring the shawl in here and we'll video us swapping the rear end in it. That'll be a little video. So we just want to give y'all an update. You're making too much racket over there. <laughs> I ain't been down here all night. Come down here to store in the shop. <laughs> but uh, we want to thank y'all for watching. We want to thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, don't give up on us. We got a lot more stuff coming. We made this decision uh, based on content, but we also made this decision based on some other stuff that we'll explain in a later video. But for now, we appreciate y'all watching. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all. I think we're up to 537 or 38 subscribers. So we're still gaining subscribers. We thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, we do have more hats coming. Uh, I also talked to the lady that does our hats about making some shirts. So 
we may do some shirts. And somebody said we should put y'all hang out with us on a shirt, and I think we're going to. So, so that'd be fun. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Until next time. Appreciate you watching, guys. God bless you. See y'all.